Hello, World of Tank Blitzers. It's Littlefinger. Happy Friday, December 30th, the last door review of 2022. Hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas, and I want to wish everyone a happy new year. We are so close to 15,000 subscribers. Please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Push me over. That 15,000 mark would be a great way to finish out the year. So, before we get into the store, I want to pull up the snow globes because guess what? Snow globes have hit the store and I just want to go through what is potential in these snow globes, which guarantees you one of these tanks. We've got nine pretty nice tier 10 tanks. As you can see, Caro is the only one that I don't have as of yet. We've got two pretty nice tier nine heavy tanks and we've got some variation in the tier eight tanks uh wz i'm not too happy about uh outside of that rum panzer is just okay kyler i don't like uh titan t54d not a huge fan of either uh but outside of that some really nice uh tier eights i can see i'm missing a couple of them still just did a review on the 274a i love that tank the the dracula annihilator helsing smasher are all tier seven tanks all wonderful tanks almost must own tanks and then, of course, charms for the STRV. If you open up 10 snow globes, you are guaranteed to get the STRV. And that is important. And that is why I wanted to talk about uh, what's in these snow globes. Because as you can see, six snow globes for $100. Price is pretty steep, but that's only $17 per tank. With a fairly high chance of getting a couple tier 10 tanks out of that. And... More importantly, if you are somebody that grinded all of those victories you needed to get in order to get the free snow globe, and you already got one tank, and maybe you opened some free XP or some gold and you got three more snow globes and you're sitting at four, this would put you at that limit of getting 10 and guaranteeing you seven more tanks potentially, or at least gold compensation. So keep that in mind, uh, obviously as we get uh, to less tanks, $25 each, one tank is, um, one snow globe or a tank is $30. So we had some very, very good gold bundle deal deals where you had to fill these up by getting victories. This works out to be 750 gold per dollar. There was a $22 one for 20,000, just shy of a thousand gold per dollar. And then there was a 50,000 gold for $50, uh, for, right at 1,000 gold per dollar. And I wanna just, Put that in your mind as we get in and talking about some of the tanks that are for sale for dollars in the store should have received a holiday card container for free which guarantees you gold i would not recommend purchasing this as the gold per dollar rate is not strong enough to recommend that purchase nor is this new year bundle with only 2023 gold for 12 dollars you are going to guarantee yourself a tank but as i've said many times before the tier Five and tier six are about 50% of those tanks. So you're more than likely to get one of those. I think Wargaming is placing a very high value on these attachments. So just keep that in mind if you look at either of these two bundles, which I don't recommend. 12,000 gold for 360 days of premium time is not bad, especially if you've bought that gold using those crates from above at a thousand. That basically means $12 for a year of blitz at premium time. I do highly recommend if you are frequently playing the game that you do have premium time, but there are other ways to get it, say by purchasing the battle pass and whatnot. You can see how much mine keeps accumulating um, from those battle passes alone. So we move on, we've got some deals here to convert gold and XP into free XP. I would stay away from spending gold to get free XP. Just make sure you have those boosters turned on, play those games, get those victories, and uh, kind of, I guess, earn your free XP the old way, right? All right, we're gonna talk about the tanks when I get to the tank section. We're gonna skip over all of this other stuff. The resources here, which come with premium time and silver, they are enticing. Uh, for those of you that are maybe a little bit credit poor uh, and can't afford to be purchasing the next tanks, I get that. And that's why these are in here. But I honestly would 
try to uh, just buy gold by itself, get the premium time uh, some other way, and then grind your way to getting that silver. It'll make you a better player in the long run. So let's talk about these tanks. We're down to the Skoda T56, which has not been for sale that often. Uh, nice little heavy tank. The gun can be a, a little inaccurate at times. Uh, it does big damage. I'm not a huge, huge fan of the tank. Uh, 450 average damage on the gun there. For $17. Now... I want to go back to being able to purchase those bundles. $22 would have got you 20,000 credits. So, you know, if we proportionalize that, we're probably talking about 15,000 gold for this tank, which I feel is a little bit on the high side. Now, if you've used up all of those deals and you don't have the gold deals, then I don't think $17 for this tank by itself is that bad of a deal. However, I do think that buying the gold Going to the auction and getting yourself a tank for for half this price is is a better way to go. Fast and reliable, this deal is is not worth it. You are going to get 10 5x boosters in the two garage slots if you decide to sell these, but it's just 2,000 gold, so that's 400 gold per dollar. Object 268. I think the price on this tank is still way too high. I haven't seen it for sale that frequently. The 25 5x are only for the tank. That's a little bit of a downside as well. So, you know, if you were to have bought the 50,000 gold for $50, you know, we're talking about 35,000 gold for this tank essentially, and that is is quite high. Chieftain T95 is a tier eight heavy tank. Towards the bottom half, if not towards the bottom third of premium tanks as far as just winability, playability. You know, it's not a horrible tank, uh, but it's in that British line of having to fire a lot and be on target a lot, and it doesn't have near the armor as, say, the Action X, which I would put in the top third. And uh, not sure if it's still around. When I checked this morning, the price had just dropped. I picked it up on my EU account um, or... 4,900 gold uh, for the Action X. So comparing that to the Chieftain right now, it's hard to make that a recommendation. T-54 prototype is um, uh, a slow medium tank with good armor. Plays really well in like gravity mode and stuff like that because you're going to get a lot of bounces on this tank. But outside of that, I'm not a huge fan just due to its lack of mobility. 6,500 gold. Again, I think you can find some better deals in the auction right now. Shinobi, please pass at 8,500. And then the Badger here at 20,000 gold does come with the camo and attachments. Uh, the 5X boosters are just for this tank. Uh, great front armor on the tank. Okay, mobility. Uh, when you consider it with the other AT lines tanks, um, but it very, I feel it is very team dependent, um, and, and therefore I wouldn't recommend spending that much on it. I do want to scroll back up and just make sure that we didn't miss any of these tanks in here. You know, it looks like we talked about them all. So uh, we've got this new section for the camos. I'm assuming Wargaming is making a lot of money selling these colors for tanks. As I mentioned before, the second best way right now to get gold in the store is to get it at 2x. Deals on premium time. Make sure you're opening your containers. Um, and yeah, uh, that's going to wrap up the store, guys. So I hope everyone has a happy new year. And uh, we will see you next in 2023. As always, guys, have fun out there. Stay safe. Get educated. Not fingered. Little finger out.